Welcome to the World of Family Drama with Eight is Enough, a TV series that first graced our screens in the year of Disco Balls and Bell Bottoms 1977. This show revolves around Tom Bradford, a newspaper columnist, and his eight kids navigating the trials and tribulations of family life. Now, here's the hook buckle up because there are loads of funny, shocking, and sad facts about this series that you wouldn't want to miss. So, keep your eyes glued to the screen. Ever wondered about the behind-the-scenes tales that may have eluded the spotlight? Are there any lesser-known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? Share your thoughts below. And speaking of characters out of the many roles in this series, which one was your favorite? Each Bradford has a unique charm that keeps us hooked. As you reminisce about the Bradford family's adventures, what's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, whether you're a fan of heartwarming family moments or unexpected plot twists, 8 is Enough has it all. Keep watching for more surprises. 8 is Enough, the 1977 TV series, introduces viewers to the bustling Bradford family led by Tom Bradford, a newspaper columnist. Premiering during the disco era, the show takes us into the multifaceted world of this family of 10 navigating the intricacies of life. The narrative revolves around Tom and his eight children, each bringing a unique charm to the family dynamic. As the series unfolds, we witness the trials and tribulations they face, from heartwarming family moments to unexpected plot twists. The show creates a vibrant tapestry of experiences, blending humor, shock, and poignancy seamlessly. Set against the backdrop of the late 70s, it captures the essence of that era with its distinctive fashion, societal norms, and cultural shifts. The characters, each with their own quirks and personalities, contribute to the captivating landscape of the show. Throughout its run, the series became a testament to the enduring appeal of family-oriented storytelling. It achieved remarkable success, garnering attention for its engaging plot lines and memorable characters. While specific milestones and awards aren't delved into here, it's worth noting that the show left an indelible mark on television during its time. As viewers reminisce about the Bradford family's adventures, they often find themselves immersed in cherished memories and personal experiences related to the series. Whether it's a favorite character, a particular episode, or an unexpected twist, it has a way of resonating with audiences on a personal level. So, whether you're a fan of the captivating narrative or the endearing characters, the show offers a journey through the complexities and joys of family life. As it continues to be a source of nostalgia and entertainment, audiences can't help but be drawn into the world of the Bradfords, where laughter, tears, and surprises await. In the early seasons of the series, viewers learned about Abby's first husband, Frank Abbott, whose life was cut short in the Vietnam War. This poignant backstory added depth to Abby's character, highlighting the real-world impact of the war on the Bradford family. Interestingly, the role of David Bradford, one of Tom's eight children, was initially portrayed by Mark Hamill, known for his iconic role in Star Wars Episode IV, A New Hope. Hamill's presence in Eight is enough coincided with the beginning of the show, offering a unique connection to the pop culture phenomenon of the late 70s. During the show's inception, a distinctive instrumental theme set the tone for each episode's opening. However, as the series progressed, a new theme emerged featuring lyrics penned and sung by Grant Goodev, the actor behind David Bradford. Goodev's vocal contribution to the theme added a personal touch to the show, showcasing his versatility beyond acting. In a memorable episode, Grant Goodev took center stage, not only as David Bradford, but also as the voice behind the show's theme song. This rare moment provided viewers with a glimpse into the multi-talented capabilities of the cast members. These behind-the-scenes details contribute to the rich tapestry of Eight is Enough, showcasing the show's ability to seamlessly blend personal narratives with broader cultural influences. As audiences reflect on the Bradford family's journey, these lesser-known facts add an extra layer of intrigue to the series' legacy. Lori Walters, portraying one of Tom Bradford's eight children, shared an interesting age dynamic with her on-screen family. At 11 years younger than her on-screen mother, Diana Highland, and just six months older than her stepmother, Betty Buckley, Walters found herself sandwiched between two generations. The roots of the series lie in Thomas Braden's 1975 autobiographical account. Braden, a newspaper editor and columnist, later co-hosted CNN's Crossfire. 
Interestingly, the show's creators altered the surname to Bradford, opting for a more likable and all-American sound. However, the first names of the characters, including Tom Bradford, remained true to Braden's original narrative. During its initial four seasons, eight is enough skillfully distributed screen time among the Bradford siblings. However, by the final season, Willie Ahm's popularity, especially among adolescent females, propelled his character, Tommy, into the forefront of nearly every episode. Consequently, regulars Grant Goodev, Susan Richardson, and Lanny O'Grady saw diminished involvement in the plots. O'Grady's character, in particular, faced a significant reduction, almost disappearing from the show. Goodev's frustration with his peripheral role prompted him to persuade the writers to divorce David and Janet, allowing him to return to the series' core. In the evolution of Eight is Enough, the interplay of age among cast members and the behind-the-scenes decision-making process significantly influenced the on-screen dynamics. The show's commitment to equal character representation wavered towards the end, shaping the fate of key characters. Lori Walters, a pivotal part of the Bradford family, found herself navigating familial relationships with a unique age dynamic, creating an interesting layer to the series. The show's transformation from Braden to Bradford reflected a deliberate choice to align with a broader, more relatable American identity. Finally, the shifts in character prominence within the Bradford family underscored the challenges of maintaining balance and audience engagement in a long-running series. Mary, a character in the series, pursued her medical training at the University of California at Berkeley. This academic background added a layer of depth to her character, showcasing a commitment to personal growth and development. In a candid 2000 interview on the EE True Hollywood Story, Dick Van Patten, the lead actor, revealed a surprising detail about the show's cancellation. He disclosed that he didn't receive a direct call informing him of the decision. Instead, he stumbled upon the news in a newspaper. The lack of a personal heads-up added an unexpected twist to the end of the series. Mark Hamill, recognized for his role in Star Wars, initially had reservations about the show's shift towards a more comedic tone. Despite his concerns, he honored his commitment to the series. However, fate intervened as he faced a serious auto accident on the night. The pilot aired, resulting in significant facial injuries. Hamill's departure from the show added an unforeseen chapter, leaving audiences to speculate about the true extent of his injuries and the circumstances surrounding his exit. In the world of television, surprises and challenges often shape the narrative. Dick Van Patten's revelation about the show's abrupt end highlights the unpredictable nature of the industry. Meanwhile, Mark Hamill's departure, influenced by both creative differences and an unexpected accident, underscores the complexities actors face in fulfilling their commitments.